Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to get a mentor. So what is a mentor? Mentorship is defined as a relationship in which a more experienced or more knowledgeable person helps to guide a less experienced or less knowledgeable person towards a goal. So a lot of people are really confused and go about getting a mentor wrong. I get tons of emails a month about people asking to be mentored by me. And I know if I get a whole bunch, then people like Gary Vee, Grant Cardone, and Ty Lopez and other big business people are getting loads of requests. So here's the big deal. You do not need their permission to be a mentee. Go out and consume everything that they put out. Go buy all of their books, all of their courses, and actually you don't even have to pay. Just look up stuff on YouTube, read blog posts about them. Everything you can find, consume it. If they have taken the time to make a course or write a book, they did that so that you could learn. I got a whole bunch of emails on dating advice and my top videos were actually about dating. So what I did was, I made an entire course of premium content just teaching you how to find, get, and keep your dream girl. Now you're going to get much more out of that than if you're just asking me a simple question. The difference is you searching for my content versus you asking me to give you the content. Most of the time, the mentors you love already have put out a ton of content. You just have to look for it. The difference is you putting in the work versus me putting in the work. So don't ask, go seek out their stuff. Another thing I want to hit on is that books are mentors. Last year, I read over 300 books and it changed my life, my income, my relationships. It was just life changing. Books for me are the best form of mentors. This is just for me though. I haven't really had the opportunity to be around wise and older mentors, but I can definitely read their books. Books on money, books on relationship, books on sales funnel, books on health. They say if you read four books on any topic, you're in the top 90% of the population that knows information about that topic. So imagine how much more reputable you would seem if you read just one book a month in your industry. They say an average CEO reads over 52 books a year, and that's because there's always something new to learn. There's always changes happening, and they have to stay on top with cutting edge business. So you need to do the same to keep learning. Also, there's three ways to learn. You can learn from someone else, you can learn from what someone else wrote down, and you can learn from your own mistakes. Which one do you think is the easiest? I also want to answer the question, why do you need a mentor? So, how did you learn to walk? When you were a baby, you watched other adult, professional walking humans walk. No, really, that's how you learned. We can copy this strategy and use it to learn almost anything else. If you want to learn how to ride a unicycle, shout out to Brandon. If you want to learn how to animate, shout out to Yusef. If you want to learn how to create an awesome sales funnel, shout out to Clark. You learn from the experts. My favorite way, my favorite way to learn is to learn from other people, and that includes books. This is why mentorship is so important. If you're a fan of evolution, you know that a species that learns from its own mistakes does not live as long as a species that learns from the mistakes of others. It will just survive longer. You can do the same by learning from other people's mistakes. Also on mentorship, I want to talk about the differences between mentoring and handholding. So when I was creating my dating course, I had Alex from Create and Go mentoring me. He had created a couple courses before, and I needed help in the course creation process, so he helped me. Now he wasn't holding my hand, but he was there to double check my work and answer any questions that I had. We sent emails back and forth, he would answer them in video format, and I got a lot out of just seeing his thought process about course creation and getting more sales. Now notice how he didn't do the work for me, he just showed me the way. This is something else that's very important. Mentors aren't there to hold your hand. They have a lot of other obligations, but they're there to guide you, help you along the way. A lot of people think that mentors are there to do the work for them, but in reality, a mentorship is when a mentor shows you the way, not gives you the way. Another little tip I wanna give you guys is that when you're looking for mentors, see if they have any mentors. A lot of books I've read cite other books. And if I see a book cited more than twice, I immediately buy that book. You can do the same with mentors. Maybe a lot of people have looked up to Tony Robbins. Maybe a lot of people have cited Gary Vaynerchuk. So what's the difference between a mentor and a coach? A mentor is deeply invested in a personal relationship with the person that you're trying to improve. The secret here is that they have an emotional relationship with you and they want to see you succeed. Now what's a coach? A coach is usually paid and they're not necessarily invested. They just want the money but they have the skills and knowledge to teach you. The difference is that if you fail, one of them is going to feel bad and that's going to be a mentor. So do you wanna be around other people who can mentor you? Do you want me to be your mentor? Do you want a way you can track your growth? What about getting the knowledge out of books without spending hours reading? Well, I recently created a private membership group where I will read books animate them, and give you a whole bunch of resources including MP3s, PDFs, and actionable worksheets to help you read a book a week. If you sign up to Practical Growth Academy today, I will personally send you $20 of an Amazon gift card in under 48 hours. There's no kicker, I'm literally paying you $3 to try your first month. You can cancel anytime in the future, if you use the link in the description, the discount lasts for a lifetime, so you'll only be paying $17 a month for the rest of your life, and you can cancel any time. But I can't give out $20 Amazon gift cards forever, so sign up today before I remove that bonus. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you learned something.